All right, now let's see how well you solve algebra equations. And what we have here is a linear equation. Matter of fact, uh, the problem is 2 times 3m plus 1 plus m is equal to 6m minus 10. Now we're trying to solve this equation for m. So really uh, the purpose of this video is to see if you can solve this equation, but more importantly, to see how you work. In other words, what are the steps you are going to take to try to solve this equation. This is really critical when it comes to mathematics, especially in algebra. All right, so feel free to use a calculator, but uh, if you think you know the right solution, put that into the comment section. I'm gonna show you the correct answer in just one second. Then of course, I'm gonna show you the exact steps that you want to take, not only to solve an equation like this, but pretty much all equations in algebra. All right, so let's take a look at the solution. The correct answer here is m is equal to negative 12. Now, if you got this right, well, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Now, it's possible that you got the right answer, but uh, maybe your work needs improvement. All right, and of course, I'll talk about that in the video, but it's also possible you did not uh, get the right answer, but you just made a tiny error. In other words, you just made a little mistake that threw off your final answer. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this right now. Now, a couple of things. Um, one, we're dealing with what we call a linear equation. So we're solving for one variable, the variable is m. So we have an m here, an m here, an m here. So these are uh, uh, different, what we call variable terms. So in algebra, when you're solving a linear equation, Kind of the main strategy is we want to get all of our variable terms or all of our variables to the left-hand side of the equation and all of our numbers, things like negative 10, uh, and you'll see here in a second uh, some other numbers, we want to get those over to the right-hand side. Now, you might be saying, what is this little thing right here, this little cone? Well, this little cone is typically the way uh, your work should look. When you're solving equations, especially linear equations, you kind of want to think of the ice cream cone effect, okay? So in other words, it kind of looks like an ice cream cone, something like this. So in other words, you start with a, you know, a big problem, and then you just take one step at a time, and it kind of just should whittle its way down to the solution, okay? So in general, you know, when you have a large problem, you want to take, uh, you know, one step, and when you take that step, what you want to do is stop and pause and double check. You say, okay, did I do the right thing? If you feel good about it, take another step. And then kind of stop and pause and ask yourself, did I make a mistake? Uh, you know, you're kind of grading yourself as you go. And if you get into this uh, focus and this kind of habit, you will be successful. Matter of fact, you'll get like 200% on your test. And uh, your uh, math teachers will probably say, you know what? You're so good at math. Just take the rest of the year off. You're pretty awesome. Okay, so let's go ahead and practice uh, this um, concept. We're going to get all the variables to the left, all the numbers to the right, and we're just going to work things down one step at a time, and we'll whittle things down kind of like an ice cream cone uh, shape. All right, so first things first. Uh, now, when it comes to linear equations, there's you know some additional details, obviously, that we need to discuss, and there's all different types of uh, varieties of linear equations. But here is uh, kind of the first main point. Let me erase this here so we don't get distracted. So uh, when you're dealing with a linear equation, you want to look to see if there's any uh, distributive property situations. In other words, if there's like a number outside of a group or a set of parentheses like this. Because if there is, this is where you want to start. Okay, so you want to kind of scan your equation. Now, not all, not all equations will have this situation, right? In other words, if I didn't have this two here, there would be no uh, distributive property scenario. Now, the distributive property uh, formally is this, a times b plus c is equal to ab plus ac, okay? So, you know, even if you didn't, you know, remember the formal uh, you know, property, the distributive property, you should hopefully uh, know it in terms of what to do. Okay, so here is where we want to start. We see a number outside of a group, a set of parentheses, so we need to use the distributive property to clear this situation. So we're going to take this 2 and multiply by this 3m. So 2 times 3m is 6m, and then we'll take this 2 and multiply it by this one, this is again the distributive property in action, and now we have two, okay? So we have 
uh, 2 times 3m, 6m, 2 times 1 is 2. So we just write out the rest of the equation. And at this point, we can now see all the numbers and variable terms that we need to deal with in this equation. Okay, so we have a 6m here. That's a variable term. We have an m or a 1m uh, right there. That's another variable term. We have a 6m over here. Uh, we have a 2. Of course, that's a number. And we have a negative 10 on this side. So again, the objective here is to get all of our variable uh, variable terms to the left-hand side and all of our number uh, numbers to the right-hand side. So that's what we need to work on. And we're going to do this step by step. So let's go ahead and take a look at the next thing we need to do. Okay, so before we start moving variables to the uh, one side of the equation and numbers to the other side, what you wanna do after you um, uh, you know, cleared up any distributive property situations is to simplify each side of the equation. Okay, the left hand side and the right hand side. We want to just get things nice and tidy and organized as possible before we start taking uh, steps where we have to subtract and add numbers from both sides of the equation. So here we have 6m, and then here this is an m. Uh, technically, there's a 1 right here, there's a 1m. So we can combine these like terms. In other words, they both have an m. They're exactly the same here. So if we have 6m here and 1m here, a 1m there, we have 7m in total. Okay, we're combining like terms. Okay, so now at this point, we have 7m plus 2 is equal to 6m minus 10. So now finally, we need to say, okay, we have variable uh, a variable term over on this side. We need to get it over on this side of the equation, the left-hand side, and we have this number on this side, I want to get it on the right-hand side. So we need to take some steps to uh, make this happen. This is not that difficult. And of course, I'm going to show you that uh, right now. But before I do, I want to uh, kindly ask you to hit that subscribe button. Now, if you're not a subscriber and you're watching this video, I certainly uh, appreciate that. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much. Uh, you know, I put a lot of effort into my YouTube channel just because I love teaching math that much. That much. But if you just hit this little button, it uh, that little tiny act does a tremendous amount for me. And if you do that, please hit that notification button as well. Now, back to the problem. Okay, so now let's go ahead and work on uh, getting the numbers to the right-hand side of the equation. So remember, at this point in the problem, we have number, we have this two, it's on the left-hand side, we wanna get it on the right-hand side, right? Remember, we wanna get all the numbers on the right-hand side, and then we wanna get all the variable terms to the left-hand side. Now, we could start with the variable terms or the numbers. We're gonna to have to you know, move this and this. So it doesn't make a difference if you start with the number or uh, the variable term. Uh, what you wanna do is not do two steps at once. Just take one step, so this uh, will focus on taking care of the number, moving that over to the right. After we get that done, we'll take care of this 6m and move it over to the left. All right, so how do we do that? Well, we're going to follow the golden rule of algebra, and that is whatever we do to one side of the equation, as long as we do it to the other side, we are okay. So if I have a positive 2 here, I'm like, I don't want that positive 2 there. I want to get rid of it. Uh, well, I can certainly get rid of a positive 2. All I have to do is subtract a 2 from it, right? So a positive 2 minus 2 is 0. So that's how I'm going to get rid of this 2 on this side of the equation. But if I subtract a 2 over here, I have to subtract a 2 here. And notice that I'm writing it in this manner. I'm putting a minus 2 under this positive 2. And I put this negative 2 right underneath this number, negative 10. And I draw a line like so. Now, there are some other formats, but I'm going to tell you right now, after doing this for decades and decades and decades, this is the best format by far. So in other words, you want to make your work look exactly like mine. Okay, so now what we're going to do is kind of add down in a column manner. So 7m plus nothing is 7m. Positive 2 minus 2, or 2 minus 2, is 0. Okay, we don't need to write that 0. It just kind of disappears. Uh, 6m plus nothing is 6m. And then negative 10 plus a negative 2 or negative 10 minus 2 is negative 12. All right, so what we did there is move that number all the way to the right-hand side, and now we have all of our numbers to the right. We just have this negative 12. So now we need to move this 6m over to the other side of the equation. Okay, so we're going to uh, follow the same kind of golden rule of algebra, whatever we do to one side of the equation. As long as we do it to the other side, we're okay. 
So we want to get rid of the 6m on the right-hand side, so we'll subtract 6m from both sides of the equation. Okay, and then we're going to add down in a column manner. So 7m minus 6m is 1m. 6m uh, plus a negative 6m is 0. So that goes away. We don't need to write anything there. And then negative 12 plus 0 is negative 12. Okay, so 1m is equal to negative 12 in algebra. We don't typically write a 1. This is what we call the coefficient, like 1m. It's just implied. If you have a variable like m, it's the same thing as 1m. So our solution is m is equal to negative 12. Okay, so I hope this video helped you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, if you need additional help in algebra, check out these courses right here. So pre-algebra is uh, for those of you that are studying basic algebra. But uh, if you are further along in mathematics, then you may want to check out my Algebra 1 or Algebra 2 courses. Now, my Math Skills Rebuilder course is a review course. I cover basic math, algebra, and geometry in this course. I'm going to leave links to all these courses in the description of this video. All right, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.